Hello. In this quick demo, I'm going to present you the Prometheus extension for Key Server and how you can um, connect Grafana and Prometheus to look into metrics coming from the Key Server around processes, case, data sets, uh, containers, and more. So, to start with, the Prometheus extension is just as any other extension on the key server. Uh, if you would like to start it, then you just need to use a system property. So once that extension is up and running, it's actually going to look into the services that are running. Let's say if it is uh, DMN, if it's uh, JVPN, or if a case extension is running. So based on the actual extensions that are running on the key server, it's going to allow and the built-in uh, event listeners to start collecting data about those endpoints. Right. So as soon as the uh, the service is running, the Prometheus service is running. What it actually happens is that it creates an endpoint slash rest slash metrics on the key server where all uh, the metrics, the Prometheus metrics are published. So you can see the full list of metrics here. Um, so some of them already have some data, some others don't, it depends on the state of the key server. So every time um, you hit this endpoint, it's gonna show you the current state of the metrics for Prometheus. So from the key server point of view, that's all that, that happens. So it creates this endpoint, and then later on Prometheus is gonna be um, fetching data from, right? So in that, so we can see I have a, a Prometheus instance here. Uh, this actually is a, a Docker Compose image that has Prometheus and Grafana plus the key server itself and the workbench, the business central. So to, to get started quickly and just showcase um, this work, you can actually use that as well. So it's gonna be pushed um, anytime soon. But you can see here that I have this Prometheus instance uh, is looking at the endpoint of the key server, the Rust metrics, and the last script was about five seconds ago. So Prometheus is actually looking into that endpoint and is storing that information into the, its own database. All right. So then we go to Grafana. So Grafana is a really cool tool to create dashboards. So in here, I'm showing some examples of what you can do uh, with the data that we expose from, uh, from the key server. So for instance, you can have, make sure that the sync and the key server is up uh, for how long the key server has been running, how many containers do you have, how many jobs are running, how many cases, uh, processes and tasks that have been created. And then you start having some other things like execution errors or exit tasks. So things that you might actually uh, that might actually be useful for you to do some monitoring. So you can actually create uh, alert rules on Grafana to uh, send some alert when some of these data change, right? So it's quite interesting. You can see here, I also have data about um, data set queries, how many data sets are registered into this key server, um, the time that every time that I execute a uh, data set query, uh, that's where you get here in the in the graph. So can I just quickly show that? Um, so I'm just running a query here uh, on Business Central. If we go back here, um, the graph is going to update and show the values and of how much it took to execute those queries. Apart from that, you should also see that for a specific data set, it actually went up into the how many times that data set was executed. So these are just examples. This dashboard is provided by default once you start the Docker Compose image. Um, some more data that you can see in here. Um, you know, it's the actual volume of processes started. So I can, again, 
uh, start a new process instance. see that the graph is gonna update here so here's the uh, time for the execution for that last um, queries so here we're gonna see another one process instance being started we also can do calculations on top of this matrix so it is actually capturing uh, the difference between the start and the end of the processes the work items the case so you can do actually average um, for instance here is the average time that a process is taking to finish so you can see for the evaluation process the ITR the um, case as well so how long they have been taking on this particular instance uh, the other one that I mentioned um, is the work items so you can see here that we have five executions of the human task work item uh, there is also an average Time. So these are just examples on how you can use this, this data, but you can um, look into Prometheus. Prometheus has a series of uh, functions uh, that you can um, take a look on and explore more about the metrics that we're exposing. Um, again, here, um, average time about cases, average time about the tasks, uh, which tasks. Uh, so let me just start another case instance here. Um, admin, so you can start that instance, then you can see uh, the running cases. Here it's one, started now it's up to two, started case three. Um, I can also cancel or close this case instance and you should have see that it's going to drop to zero the, the number of run cases right. and we should also see a change in the average case time that's pretty cool so uh, apart from that you know the things that i want to mention that you might want want to have some other thing could be things like this the execution error so the execution error is here in business sense so we have some errors there we're just gonna generate a new one just to give an example so I just created an execution error here process one that should bump, uh, bump the execution error number as well So yeah, yeah, we have two there already. Um, so yeah, you can see all the details here. Um, apart from this dashboard, this is an overall dashboard, so you can use this as, as a template and start and create your own. I just have another one here um, as an example of something a little bit more in deep, um, which is just regarding jobs, right? So for instance, I can see how many running jobs at the moment, the average time of the jobs, um, how many were executed, how many were scheduled, how many failed. Um, again, a total time per comment. So if you have different comments that are running into the key server, you can aggregate those and see how long it took to execute each one. The job duration, so that's how long it's aggregating the whole duration of all the jobs. So if I just put a, a new example here, just um, just double check. So we have three jobs executed, one fail. I'm just gonna put another one that fails. Um, so if I execute that one, then I can see it immediately goes up to four in the failure jobs. Uh, goes to that's something that you might want to keep monitoring um, some some alerts so these are the things that you um, can play around so and just to to finish um, the session here um, so just to show 
um, the readme file that's going to be up on github so that's the readme file um, on the extension so in here we are actually listing all the metrics um, a short description and the type of the metric so that's important to know um, you know how can you play with those metrics if you can uh, aggregate over time or, or if it's just a gauge that goes up and down uh, or it's just a continuous counter since the uh, key server was up so um, I hope you enjoyed um, and if you have any suggestions on how to improve or any metrics that you'd like to see on the key server, so just, just ping me and I'm happy to, to help. Thank you.